And finally tonight, a big congratulations to Kumuhulu Patrick Makuakane. He's one of 20 people from around the country this year to win a prestigious MacArthur Foundation Genius Grant. Born in Honolulu, Makuakane now lives in San Francisco where he has a halal. The winners were actually notified last month, but he told me it took a while for him to find out. When Patrick Makuakani first got a text to call the MacArthur Foundation last month, he was stuck in the mud at Burning Man with no cell phone service. For three days, I walked over in, the, in that crazy mud, which builds around three inches of muck around your shoe to get to the ranger station with Wi-Fi to call them back. And they never answered their phone. So for like four or five days, I had no idea why they were calling me. It wasn't until I got back to San Francisco that I found out. It was incredibly frustrating, but worth the frustration. Makuakani is known for his innovative choreography, which blends traditional hula with modern music. The news of him winning came as a complete surprise. My first reaction is, how do you even know about me and the work that I do? I, I have this like sliver of life in San Francisco. It's kind of insular in the dance art scene here. And what, how, you know, because you have no idea about the nomination process. This is an award where you're nominated, you can't even apply for. So it's might as well give me an Oscar. How does that even happen? Right? I'm, I'm just flummoxed and incredibly grateful and also a little guilty because there are lots of people in our community, in the Native Hawaiian community, who's doing exceptional work. And you think, why me? You know, it's, it's wonderful and it's tough. It feels like a, a responsibility. Makuakani will receive a grant of $800,000 over five years to spend however he wants. So what does he plan to do with the money? So I dip my toes in the idea of what I'm going to do, and then I run back. And then I dip it again, and I run back. I mean, it's just, what the hell? You know, I, I, one thing that has been clear to me is that I really would like to use um, some of the funds to work and collaborate with other Native Hawaiian artists whose work I find really enriching and inspiring and, and you know, hopefully get them some national recognition, if at all, because what they're doing is really influencing my work. So that's definitely one thing. Maybe buy some here. <laughs> Seriously, he says he is humbled by this honor. It really is less about me and more about the community in which I work, because I could not have done this without them. I, I, you know, it's like I've been saying, it takes a village to raise a kumu. So many people that I'm standing upon the shoulders of, and so many people who have given their support and um, aloha through these years. I, I, it's, it's not mine alone. It belongs to all of us. Everybody's going to like, okay, we'll take our paychecks and whatever. Like, okay. <laughs>